I'm using this new handheld thing that actually moves around. And I wanted to show you guys my clinic, actually. I think it's really terrible. And I'm not going to give you guys a headache. But that's the top view of my clinic. And those are my multiple tripods that I use when I, when I film. Luckily, you guys, have, it's pretty clean. But this is one of the rooms. And this is actually my surgical room. So you can see my machine there that, you know, if you have a heart attack, I can electrocute you to wake you up. Okay, probably not the best way to describe it, but like the defib machine. And then obviously that's my clinical bed there. Let me, oopsie daisy. Well down there you go, that's my chair. And those are my clinical, clinical stuff. So this is my clinical room. I also need to pluck my eyebrows. I realized that my eyebrows is very, very unplugged. Plucked. But anyway, that's not foot really foot related. So let's hope that this live video will stay live. So my last patient is supposed to be at 5 p.m. and she didn't show up. So I thought, oh, let me fit her around with this and you can be in clinic with me today. So this is my clinic. Uh, like I said, those are all my stuff. I'm going to try and move around and show you everything. So my friend recommended this, this gadget here so you can go walk with me. So... Here, so it's, it's not that that organized. Could be better, but my sis, assistant left early today because, because we had a cancellation. Just opening my door right now to show you. So this is the hallway. This is my other room, but I don't know how clean it is. Should I, or should I not? Hi. Ellie, oh, sex you. I think I should go in just so that you see. So, we are watching. What are we watching right now? We're watching. We're not sure what we're watching, but we watch a lot of TV in, in here because you know we have nothing else to do. That's me here. Hey, look, it's me. Hi. So, really, I should be going going to um, home, especially on a, on a sick day. So these are the, the, the drawings I have. Just about to open my I'll be back. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This is actually working really well. These are the chairs that I got for the clinic. So if you ever visit me, you get to sell these lovely chairs. And these are other rooms, but there, there are people inside, so we have to be very, very careful. This is kind of like where we do our gait analysis. <laughs> so if you're ever lucky. Mass is because A, things I do are quite dirty so I always wear a mask uh, especially when I have surgery and things like that and also because I'm sick and I just wanted to tell you that I wasn't sick until yesterday at around 3 something a.m. and, and I, I blame it on Dr. Kenny because Dr. Kenny can, can't sleep with the TV uh, off so TV was in the background and I listen I'm so attentive <laughs> so I listen to the TV and it's like really, really kind of always in my mind. But if you're sick and, and you want to take something natural, I just went to Holland and Barnet, which is like a health food store in England. You guys can Google it if you ever come to England, go to that shop. And they sell a lot of kind of healthy, kind of whole food, kind of like supplements and things like that. And I don't really like taking lots of loads of drugs. So I wanted to go for some natural, um, supplements. So I've been taking it for the entire day and I've been taking these little tiny candy drops. They're not really candy, they taste like candy. So they're called Sabuco Black Elderberry. They look like grapes, don't they? They're not like purple grapes. Anyways, I've never seen elderberry in real life. They're total little basketballs, but purple. 
anyway, so I've been popping these, and I think I'm getting a little bit better. We'll see tomorrow if I'm alive or not. And also, I've been taking this spray. So, this spray hurts. It's really, really, it's really, really funny. So what you do is, it comes in a little tiny ball like this. And if you can see it, maybe if I need to move my hand. Maybe not. Let me see it. And what you do is, you, you put it in your mouth. Not in your nose. You know, that, that would hurt a lot. But you put it in your mouth like that. And then you spray it. And it stings. And I think if it stings, it works, right? I think everybody should should be kind of nodding. Anyways, so I'm gonna try to use this for a couple of days, and I'll tell you guys if I feel better or if I need to take really strong kind of par not strong paracetamol, but maybe I need to take paracetamol. But at this very moment, I have a headache, I have a cold, I have a sore throat, and everything that you don't want to have in January. So in regards to clinic, the good thing about January is everybody has resolutions and one of the resolutions is to have perfect nail. nails, especially toenails. So I am a nail expert. I would say people say I would be a nail expert or fungal nail expert. So I love treating fungal nail infections. I love treating lots of foot, foot things and stuff like that, but I love treating fungal nail infection. And if you want to, one tip is, if you want to be ready for like the summer of this year, like let's say summer in England is, what is it, June, July, August, then you should have your treatment now so that we can do whatever we need to do. Um, so we can prepare for some summer. The reason why it is because the nail takes a very long time. I feel like this, yeah, this, this thing keeps on forgetting. Because the nail takes a very long time to grow to grow out, and sometimes we need to do kind of cut cut it back constantly to allow it to grow back out. So you know the average time I can treat. A really bad fungal nail infection is around six to nine months. If you have very slow nail growth, it will take a longer period of time. If you're thinking about treating your corn and callus, really you should treat it before it hurts a lot and don't treat it when it's really infected or really deep. So if you see some of my videos where the, the corn and calluses are really, really deep, it's not that great because you're walking on this really sharp kind of rock and it hurts like crazy so always come and have and, and get it managed and everything like that i think this was a successful video live video anyways it was very nice seeing you i'll probably do another video well, i think all my u.s subscribers is like what 6 p.m so i think right now everybody's sleeping but anyways it was good to, to talk to you guys whoever is watching hi <laughs> and I will uh, speak to you another day once I start how to do from looking at the camera. Anyway, see you guys. Bye.